I'm Karen. I'm going to show you a really easy way to put a solid white background on our product photos while we're editing. Now you know as well as I do that even though you shoot a product on a white backdrop, maybe in a sort of softbox for product photography or anything like that with a white background, you know that when we get in, into editing software that it does not turn out white most of the time. So I'm going to show you a very fast and easy way to do this in Photoshop and even show you that I've created an action for you to purchase if you'd rather not go through the process every single time. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and open our image in Photoshop and we want to go up and make a duplicate layer so we don't make any destructive edits. Now from here, we want to go up to Image, Adjustments, and Replace Color. And we're going to select the eyedropper tool with a plus sign, which is Add to Sample. And we want to leave our fuzziness right around 65. And then let's go ahead and click on any part of the, uh, of the background that's white. And let's slide our lightness all the way up to 100. And then hit OK. And that is it. You have your white background on your product photo and it looks a lot better than it did when we shot it. Now, sometimes that white background can spill onto our products and we don't want that. So we're going to add a layer mask. We're going to have our brush tool selected and we're going to have a hard round brush selected and make sure we have black as our foreground color set. And all we're going to do is brush off anything that we don't want on our object. Maybe around the edges or any light areas that are a little bit highlighted. And once we have it the way that we want it, that is pretty much it. Now these steps are pretty simple, but if you don't want to go through this process every single time, say you have a lot of products that you need to do this to, I have automated the process with an action. So I'm going to go ahead and delete off what I have here. And come down to my actions panel where I have my white background action and I'm just going to hit play and bam, it is already done. And all we have to do from here is go on to our layer mask and it should automatically select a brush for you as hard round and black as the foreground color. So you can automatically go in and just brush off the effect anywhere that you want to on your product. And it saves so much time. So that is all we have to do for the white out action to white out that background. Now the only other thing we might want to do here is bring those shadows up under our image because sometimes they're still a little too dark from the way they, that we originally shot the image. So from here we're going to duplicate this layer again and we're going to combine it so you can hit command on your keyboard and just select this other layer and we're going to come up here and merge layers. Then we're going to make a copy of this layer and we're going to go into filter camera raw filter. Now under our basic tab, we're going to come down to shadows and don't pay attention to any of the funny stuff on your image where you may have brushed off the white effect because it's going to look weird and that's fine. We're just looking at shadows. So go ahead and bring your shadows up to where you want them and hit okay. And now we are going to add a layer mask and we're going to invert it. So on your keyboard, you can hit command or control I and that should invert it. Now with our brush tool still selected and you can choose hard round, soft round, it really doesn't matter for this. We still want to make sure we have, um, uh, we want to make sure we have white selected this time as our foreground because we're doing the opposite color of what's on our layer mask. All we're going to do here is simply brush over that shadow and it's going to lighten everything up to where we brought it up to in camera raw. And that is pretty much it. Now, does this work on white products that we have on a white background? Actually, yes, it does. I'm going to open my product photo that has white on it, as you can see around the top here. And I did shoot this on a white background, but it blends in very much so. And I want to change it to a completely white background. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit my white background action, press play. And as you can see, it completely obliterates the top of my product and I don't want that. So I'm going to go onto my layer mask here and I'm going to make sure again, I have my brush tool selected and I have black as my foreground color and I have a hard round brush selected and we're going to go in and basically just paint off this background effect on our product. Now I can't see the edges and that's a problem. So all we have to do is reduce our opacity down enough to where I can actually see the edges of my product. Now there's ways to go about this that are different. You can use the quick select tool to get all of your image or all of your product selected faster. However, 
I find that with white products, it's a little bit harder to use the quick select tool because it doesn't recognize the edges. So I just need to go through here and quickly select everything, or sorry, brush over this with my brush tool and I find that's a lot faster for me. Now I'm not gonna get super detailed as far as doing this job right now. Um, I'm just giving you an example of how it does work on white. But once you get your whole image um, brush over, sorry, your product brushed over, then all we need to do from here is we need to raise the opacity. So I'm just gonna call that good for now and let's just raise our opacity back up to 100% and there we have our white product on a white background and it was a much faster process using an action. Now the only other thing I think this needs with white products is sometimes they look like they're floating. So I'm gonna add another layer and on this, I'm just gonna use my brush tool and make sure I have black selected as the foreground color and I'm gonna use a soft round brush. And all I'm gonna to do to make this shadow is I'm gonna swipe across the bottom. I'm going to reduce my opacity to where I want it. I'm gonna add a layer mask and I'm just going to brush it off. And it is that simple. If you wanna reduce your opacity more or brush off more of it. However you want your shadow to look, it is very simple to make a shadow under a white product and make it look like it's not floating. So there you have it. I hope you found this video useful in your product photography editing workflow. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.